What's going on YouTube for us here? I hope you guys are doing well. I've been consuming Call of Duty content on YouTube for almost 15 years now. I've been around for a lot of the OGs and I've watched a lot of YouTubers rise and fall. But I'm always welcoming of a YouTuber that I used to watch when they're willing to upload a commentary regarding Call of Duty, especially right now. That's why I was so excited when I saw Wings of Redemption upload a video talking about skill-based matchmaking in Modern Warfare 3. I, I was instantly pulled back into like 2010 YouTube watching Wings and just being enthralled by the type of content he provides. He was always good at weaving a competent commentary together. There's a reason why he was extremely popular. And then he had to go and throw it all away. It's so frustrating too because as I was watching this video titled My Thoughts on SBMM and Balance of Modern Warfare 3, I instantly was hoping for more. My first thought was maybe this is Wings coming back to making videos. Even if it's one video a week, one video every two weeks, it would be nice to hear somebody who's been around this community for so long talk about this game and, and weave those competent commentaries together. Because I honestly believe having more voices that have an audience talk about this game in a critical format is only going to help this franchise moving forward. So the prospect of Wings coming back and Wings being a voice again in this community was kind of exciting. And as I was watching that video, I sifted through the comments, and for the most part, they were positive. Sure, you had the troll here or there, but overall, the comments were pretty positive. The video had over 10k views. It was doing well. And I thought, this is just Wings adding to his redemption arc of 2023. It started with the big boxing win over Boogie to 988. Then it was him leveraging that win into the LolCal podcast, where he's showing that he is a very competent podcast host. But no, the dude decided to throw it all away in classic Wings fashion. The guy cannot get out of his own way. On a stream following this video, he complained about the amount of views the video got and how he wasted his time because the return on investment was not there for him. He made, I believe, as he quoted, $3.12 per hour on that video. And that instantly turned me off of his content once again. I was instantly frustrated. I was here ready to root for Wings of Redemption. I was ready for him to continue this tremendous 2023 redemption arc. But he decided to slap his entire community in the face. Anybody that was rooting for him got a dose of reality. A dose of what makes Wings of Redemption so unlikable. As soon as he decided to say, the return on investment wasn't good enough. I'm never doing this again. Like my dude, Wings, if you're watching this, I doubt you will. That was not the way to go about it. What you say is, holy smokes, there was such a good positive reception. Maybe I can build momentum off of this. Maybe this can be the stepping stone into restarting my YouTube career. Because there are real fans that want you to succeed. They want you to learn from your mistakes and get better. This is what is so frustrating about watching guys like Boogie2988, Wings of Redemption, and Dark Side Phil, maybe is that they've made so many mistakes and you just want them to learn from them, to grow from them, to change, and actually make some positive changes. But there are just some people out there, and Wings and Boogie are the perfect examples of them, where you can make the same mistake a thousand times and you'll never learn from it. It's always the same type of reaction too. It's a, woe is me, oh I put all this time and effort in and I didn't get anything in return. Who cares? Man, like what, you were expecting 40,000 views, 10% of your subscriber base, for releasing the first video you've done in, I don't know how long, two, three years? You just expect it to instantly bang? Like, expectations often don't meet reality. You should have tempered those expectations. And the big argument here is that he worked six hours on this video, put all this time and effort in, and only got a little bit of reward for it. My dude... Welcome to the game. Welcome to being part of YouTube in 2023, moving into 2024. You've got to put some effort in from time to time. 
But the biggest thing and the best thing for any channel is momentum. Your channel has none of it, my dude. No momentum. If you've made some momentum by making a few videos and getting some positive reception with those videos, you'd be able to gain some momentum. Then all of a sudden, more people are going to watch. And then it's a snowball effect and more people and more people and more people. He can't see the forest through the trees. He is so blinded by his own monetary goals that he simply gave up before the journey really began, which is honestly pretty par for the course when it comes to Wings of Redemption. The dude hates adversity. He loves life to be easy. When he sees adversity, when he sees a possible impediment, he decides to cower in the corner and move away. He doesn't tackle things head on. And this is why it was like, maybe he's changing. Because he did that when he went and fought Boogie. He tackled that fear of, of being in front of people. And he honestly killed it. I will never, ever take that away from him. He was tremendous. He was extremely entertaining. And then he leveraged that. Leveraged this comeback into this Lol Cal podcast. And I really believed Wings was coming back. He was going to be relevant again. He was going to be the jovial, fun guy. And he just threw it all away in one simple stream because the video didn't make enough money. When all you focus on is the dollars and cents of your YouTube AdSense, you're going to be miserable. I'll be completely honest with you. And it makes for awful content. When people like Boogie and yourself and so many others complain that they're not making enough money... It does not resonate with fans. Very few fans are going to look at this and they're going to say, Wow, Wings, you're so right. We just need to support you more. Here's some money. You're right. Like You put all this effort in and you deserve to get paid for it. No, they're, they're going to shut down. They're going to ignore your content because they're going to see it for what it is, a cash grab. You just trying to make money instead of making entertaining content, which this video was. It was entertaining. It was a blast from the past. It was bringing you back to what made Wing so great so many years ago. And he just chose to throw it all away. Decide to not capitalize on the potential of this. If there's any advice I have for Wings, and if he is watching this, Wings, I've been a fan of yours for years. I've always enjoyed your content. Make more of it. Don't just stream. Don't just expect that to be your sole source of income. Utilize videos to push people towards your streams. Use your streams to push people towards your videos. That way you can build something again. You can create the type of content that made you Wings of Redemption, the guy with 400,000 subscribers on YouTube, that made you a host of PKA all those years ago, that led you to all of the success that you've had in life. Please, get out of your own way. Instead of focusing so much on reception, focus on what makes you happy. Did you enjoy making that video? Judging by the way you delivered your commentary, it certainly sounded like you had fun. Judging by the amount of effort that went into this, you put six hours into this video, dude. You clearly had fun doing it. At least that's my assumption. Do what makes you happy. So often I see clips of Wings' streams, he's not happy. But it seemed as if he was when he made this video. And that's why I was like, holy smokes, he's recapturing it all. But he just decided to get rid of it. He decided to throw it away. He decided it was more important to sulk and mope and try to get pity points because the video didn't do the numbers he was expecting. But that's all I really have to say at this point in time. I would love to see Wings actually start to make videos again, make Call of Duty commentaries again, because he's good at it. He makes entertaining content. But we'll just have to wait and see if he learns from this and actually decides to give his community what they want. Because judging by these comments, judging by the reception of this video, there is an audience for him. Will he take advantage of it or will he just let it go to waste? We'll have to wait and find out. That's something we'll find out in 2024. So I thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, can you please hit that like button? If you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.